Bruce need. Okay, go And ahead. we're also going to need a game in the hopper in case. A game in the hopper. So I don't know if you've ever been on any of these dating sites, Dave. I've looked at them. You've looked at them. You never joined or anything. I've never joined. You looked at them. And speaking of these dating sites, though, there's some uh, kind of unscrupulous no. uh, dating sites. <laughs> there, there was one on the side of Facebook, an ad for one. It was Milfalicious. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's a dating site or is that just a, a that's porn a, site? That's, well, it's Milfalicious. A dating site. For and, who? Uh, MILFs. Men wanting MILFs? M yeah. Oh. Now, <laughs> did you join? Being a, an investigative reporter, <laughs> I clicked on the site. Oh. All right, call Shaq. Go ahead. <laughs> I didn't uh, join. You could you didn't join. join. But there was enough searching or free, free trials or whatever. Right. Now, I found out later. I looked it up on the web. This is a, a scam site. Oh. Because I, I've never seen something. There was a lot. I put my zip code in. Mm -hmm. And they had all the girls that were, uh, or MILFs. In your area. <laughs> in my area. Okay. And even on Match.com or one of these real sites, you might see two or three women in your area. There must have been 30 women <laughs> in my area, not only in my area, but unclothed <laughs> with, with, with full... <laughs> Full nudity and frontal wait, and... Wait a minute, what's the name of this? <laughs> Milfalicious, Dave. Milfalicious? Yeah. Okay. Now what I found out later was this site <laughs> takes nude pictures from around the web mm -hmm. and somehow through the, you know, magic of computers, <laughs> puts together women mm -hmm. and fake profiles with nude women who are right next door down your street, apparently. And full nudity. Oh, no. And, and so that was... Why didn't you contact one? <laughs> Just to see if they were down the street, if they were real. There was no way in hell. You had to join to contact? Yeah, there, I wasn't going that far for my investigation. You, no, open. So that's where it ended? That's where it ended. There. I saw a nude picture. It's good enough for my investigation. Well, I, I looked it up on the web. It said scam. I, I put Milfalicious mm -hmm. scam, and it came out that this one company has a lot of these uh, illicious. Illicious. <laughs> like teen illicious and... Uh, so, so you've never uh, perused like Match or eHarmony or what's um, the other ones? There's, well, a, there's a Zeusk, there's black, blackpeoplemeet.com, oh. and there's Christian Mingle. See, yeah. now if I was to join Christian Mingle, uh -huh. see, that's you become very, you know, you've got to present yourself as very religious. Right. You know, God told me to join, to meet you, so yeah. we could, you know, <laughs> we could do stuff. Right. It's all from God. Yeah. J date, oh, right. J date. That's, I don't know that's that one. For the Jews, is that what that is? That's J date. Oh, I didn't know that. You got to stay away from these free sites too. They have free <laughs> sites that are on the up and up, but they're free. Uh huh. So if you're looking for a nice match, uh huh. Uh, if you're going these free sites, you got to realize that you're looking at guys and girls that aren't willing to spend ten dollars a month <laughs> for a good dating <laughs> site. <laughs> like Match.com is a you have to pay ten dollars or whatever it is a month. I think it's more than that. A little more. Well, whatever it is, it's well worth it. There's plenty of fish. It's another one. Have you seen that one? <laughs> yes. Plenty of fish is a is another dating site. Speaking of that one, that's that another heard, one that I've heard of. <laughs> you, you, right. <laughs> you never used any of these no. sites. <clears throat> Apparently, uh, somebody I know, mm -hmm. and I want to get too detailed, was on <laughs> that site. Plenty of fish? <laughs> Plenty of fish. Okay. Now, I want to give your opinion on uh -oh. this, Dave. You're a female, but you got to do a little acting in this scenario. Okay. You're a female now. Okay. And you find somebody on, well, it doesn't matter which site it is. It's one of these free ones. Okay. Is Plenty of what? Fish free? <laughs> I think it is, Okay. Yeah. So you're on that, uh, and you find what you think is a nice gentleman. All righty. Now. I'm very excited now. <laughs> That's good. So you're you're going out for a few months. Oh, oh, so we've we've met. You've met, and uh, things seem okay. You're going out for a few months. Have we had sex? <laughs> well, there hasn't been anything more than some heavy petting. Heavy thing. petting, okay. Some heavy petting. So, like four or five months down the road, you're a female now, right? And you decide to take things a little further. So you decide to provide what we call here a, a Monica Lewinsky type situation. Okay. <laughs> That's the little kids won't know what that is. So. Good. 
So you, you decide to try and get things going with this guy. It just seems to be not... Uh, he's, a, he's a little aloof. A little aloof. He's not making the advances that I'm hoping for. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> so you, you start your Monica maneuver. Right. And the gentleman suggests <laughs> that you put your finger in his ass. <laughs> What? Wait a minute. You're concerned <laughs> with making sure the kids don't know what Monica Lewinsky is, but you're okay with saying that? I, I, I was going to clean that up a little, but there's, there's a thing they play on Howard Stern that says that. So. <laughs> you were so concerned with keeping it clean, but you went right for that part. I did. So, I, should, I should have said... Uh, <laughs> so you should have said what Marlon Brando wanted in the last tango of Paris. <laughs> I should have... I, I, I didn't think... I didn't. <laughs> Thank God I'm only a temporary host. <laughs> Wait a minute. We, <laughs> we might actually be watching Ed pass you away may, on set. You may need another host after this. <laughs> So he suggests that. Uh, he, he suggests was your was your question going to be what would I do at that point? Mm -hmm. I th I threw it off with that okay. direct uh, right. quote there. But if that would thing would happen, what would you think, Dave? I mean, I don't know. I guess it depends on. I don't know. Well, me as a female. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how freaky I am. <laughs> <laughs> but would that part be used to help arouse him? Is that what you're saying? Well, well that's not usually the first thing, you, the first request you make, you make when even sex is not coming no. to the picture. Yet. No, you, that, that's yeah, you, that's a maybe several sessions down the road when you want to do maybe. Hey, let's experiment with something. I have an yeah. idea. You throw it out that way. Yeah. And if she goes, mm -hmm, then you know you don't want to do that. But that's not. You know, I've, I, I, I don't want to delve into my personal life too much. Right. But I know that there was a person I dated once, many, many moons ago, <laughs> who literally, maybe on the second date, laid down the groundwork. This is what I like. Whoa. This is what I don't like. Wow. Yeah. And pretty much just put it all out there. So then I knew whether to pursue this further. Uh-huh. That's all. So maybe... You know, the guy was a little shy, and he wanted her to know that this is what he enjoyed, but he was afraid to say it. But now he decided, well, if she's going to Lewinsky me, this is what I want next. I don't know. I, I just thought it uh, odd. It uh, is a little odd. It, it, with nothing going on that far in, and then this is the request that was made. Yeah. There, there's something. Uh, Something's uh, afoot. Or a finger. Yeah. We need Carl Kolchak to investigate. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> but we don't. We'll leave him alone. Oh. We don't bring him in on this case. Maybe Scooby-Doo. He seems to be out of mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to investigate the case of the missing finger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you ever see that commercial where the guy's, all his fingers pop off? No. While he's he's do, do, doing some kind of a search on a website. <laughs> computer. Yeah. All, I of, seen all that his one. fingers pop up now. We know where they went. <laughs> they, they went into 10 different places, apparently. <laughs> okay. Is it I, time for the game? Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. I apologize for my directness. Yeah. I was going to cover that up with a more, you know, cute thing. <laughs> cute. <laughs> that was the farthest from cute. <laughs> all right. It's the post okay. prepared game. Get out of here. <laughs> all right. Try and salvage this somehow. <laughs> All right, post prepares game where people send in, in the, via email <laughs> two, two numbers from one to six, and we're gonna select a name and we're gonna reveal the posters with what's behind there. <laughs> and I just want you to turn them over with one finger. <laughs> and, and if you can, do it from the rear. <laughs> Oh, this is what happens when I get up this early, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That's why I love the spontaneity of this show. You just I, never know what's going to be said. I danced around the Monica Lewinsky. And in that moment, that was my choice at that moment. <laughs> Dave, but I, I went with the, the more direct. And... You know, it reminds me of when Maria was here and she said, where's the script? There's <laughs> <laughs> no script. And now we know why. Oh, dear. All right. <laughs> Betty Madison. 
<laughs> one and three. So one and three. And Ed, Ooh. one finger. And <laughs> spin if she wins. One and three. One Come and on, three. Betty. Come on, Betty. We need a spin of the wheel. One and three. One and three. Oh. 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 Next week. Next week. We'll say that forever mm -hmm. until we get a winner. Oh, is it an up and down ploy? Ooh, look at that. Don't yes. forget about the up and down ploy. There you go. That's <laughs> for, unfortunate. For the in and out. In and out ploy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, there you go. There's the game. Get the address. If you uh. want to join the fun. <laughs> uh, and if you want to enter the Post of Pairs game, just send in your name and two numbers from one to six. Two numbers from one to six. Send it in to MediaZone95 at gmail.com. MediaZone95 at gmail.com. And if you want to spin the wheel, you can, if you win the two tickets, if the posters match, you win two tickets. And if you write spin the wheel, we're going to spin the wheel. And you can see right there, you can win up to 10 tickets. One chance to win 10 tickets. Two chances to win six. Two chances to make it four. Six to keep it at two. Five, you lose one. Two, you're down to zero. Maybe the next graphic will have a finger in that zero. <laughs> I just never heard of such a request being made. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, I'm sure there's maybe some odder ones out there. Yeah. But... <laughs> That's... You know, and the funny thing is, next show, we're still going to be laughing about this, and no one's going to know why, because unless they saw the show the week before, <laughs> right. they're going to get it. But... you got to watch every week. Yeah, let's just, yeah, that's a little. <laughs> no, no felicious. <laughs> what a wacky show. Well, you, you, we can't do movies every week, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the basis of the show. Sometimes we got to take a detour. It's yeah, a no felicious. Don't forget to look and up. And this was where? No felicious. Where did, but where did you see this? It was on the side of Facebook, an ad. Why would Facebook do that? Allow I, that. I guess they'll take money from anybody. They're not doing research as to what's uh you know, come on, Zuckerman. <laughs> no felicious. No felicious, wow. And it's a scam. So you pay the money and then you get no milfs. You get no milfs because it's made up uh, people. Oh that's so wrong. But at least you get a free picture. You get some nice pictures of uh, oh, right. anonymous women all over the place. All right. They're not next door or down the street though. Well, that's too bad. Just some. Uh, it would be, nice, be nice to date somebody you can walk down the street to meet. Yeah. <laughs> when she, you know, as long as she has 10 fingers. I guess this is the thing to do these days, these dating sites, but uh, you don't know what you're in for. You don't. But you know what? You make a phone call <laughs> and you talk to people. I mean, uh -huh. That's how it, it's hard. It, it is difficult to meet people. What's wrong with meeting people via the internet? Oh, I forgot another story. Uh oh. Next show. <laughs> Here's a little teaser for next week. Does it have to do with no feliciousness? <laughs> no, this is another dating site, uh -oh. uh, real life meeting, and what what happens on the second date. Oh no! <laughs> you know what? Don't use a dating site. It's just call Quest. <laughs> now, the good old days when you would call a phone number. Right. All right. We'll see you next time with more fun dating stories. Next time. I'm not coming back. <laughs> Media Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.